All right, so we're gonna talk about using gustar con actividades, using gustar with activities. All right, well, let's talk about, oh, never mind. Let's redo that. Let's talk about gustar itself. Gustar is a verb itself. You might remember seeing it in chapter one of a, a piece of it. When you tell someone it's nice to meet you, mucho gusto is literally saying much pleasure. So gustar means to please. All right, so that's important to keep in mind when you look at the, the upcoming phrases because what we're trying to say is we're, with gustar, we tell people what we like to do, what someone enjoys doing, but in Spanish, you literally read it backwards, and you say, instead of saying, I like swimming, it's actually literally written, swimming pleases me, okay? So we use the verb a bit differently. But the one good thing about using this verb is, everyone likes math, right? Well, not really, but an easy one benefit or one, you know, positive aspect of math is that formulas exist. Formulas exist for a reason, so that we put in numbers and we get a, a specific result. Well, you can almost create a, you can create a formula out of gustar so that you get the result that you're looking for. So let's talk about that now. You won't know the acronyms or you won't understand exactly what I'm writing yet, but that's just the, that's the foundation. So we need to go ahead and put that there. So our, 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 our formula is going to, going to be IOP which stands for indirect object pronoun plus gusta notice I haven't I mean notice that I've already changed it gusta not gustar but gusta plus verbo the verb okay verbo gives us a correct sentence IOP plus gusta plus verbo gives us the sentence. So now we have to fill in these blanks, all right? Well, this one's done for you. That is the blank, that's what we're going to use. In chapter two, if you see yourself using anything other than gusta right here, you, know, you need to know that you're wrong and you need to look back and make a, a correction. But let's talk about the IOPs. We have five of them. Me, te, le, nos, and lace. Now this should look really familiar to you. As you look through here, you should see that I'm following the same pattern as we did with our subject pronouns. When we conjugated the verb tener, when we conjugated the verb ser, when we conjugated our AR verbs. Same pattern right there. Okay. So what do you think that's telling you? Think about what I said a moment ago. It's almost as if this works backwards, okay? So let's draw an arrow. Let's do a big red arrow. Let's do a big red arrow there. Art is not my thing. That's why it's Spanish. All right, so we're gonna be thinking about going backwards. So what do you think this part here is going to tell me? What are the, all of these pronouns going to tell me? Well, that's going to tell me who it is that likes to do that activity. To whom pleases that activity. Well, the next part of our formula is always going to be the verb gusta. Gusta, followed by some form of the verb. We'll just put a few of our verbs um, that are there in the very first part of your text. Um, caminar. Cocinar. Cocinar y alquilar videos. All right, alquilar videos. Well, this is our statement, this is our phrase. We just need to know which one of these subjects we're talking about. If I'm going to talk about myself and give you an activity that I like to do, my statement is going to be Me gusta Cocinar. Me gusta cocinar. Cocinar significa to cook. So literally, cooking pleases me. It's working backwards. Okay? Cooking pleases, pleases me. Me gusta cocinar. So you might see me ask you the question from time to time in Moodle, or you'll see the question in I Learn. <clears throat> the erase. 
All right. A ti te gusta followed by a blank. A ti te gusta and then followed by that blank. Do you like blank? Whatever activity, whatever thing that I'm going to ask you about, do you like it? A ti te gusta estudiar? A ti te gusta cocinar? A ti te gusta caminar? Those are examples of how you ask that question to someone, do you like? And this part is completely optional. You don't have to put it. If, a, if it's just me and you in a conversation, I don't have to say, hey you, do you like to cook? So you can just ask the question, te gusta cocinar? So let's erase so we can get some more examples using the other IOPs. I'm sure some of you have plans for the beach this summer, maybe even plans with your, with your friends. So let's say if you and your friends are going somewhere, think about that, you and your friends are going somewhere, which one of these are you going to use? Me, te, le, nos, or les? Yep, nos. Nos gusta visitar la playa. Nos gusta visitar la playa. We like to visit the beach. Visiting the beach is, is pleasing to us. Visiting the beach pleases us. Let's see if we can find the pieces of our formula. What is that here? What is nos? Nos is the indirect object pronoun, right? Indirect object pronoun. Gusta, that's always going to be there. That's our, that's our definite. That's never going to change. And then the very last part here, that is our verb. That's what round out, rounds out our phrase. That is the activity that we enjoy doing. That is the activity that we enjoy doing. All right. So what happens if you happen not to like something? What if you don't enjoy cooking? Or you don't enjoy renting videos? What do you do? Well, as you've seen in previous lessons, anytime that we go to make something negative, we had a no in front of our in front of our verb. Well, what we have to do here is we're going to be putting no in front of our IOP. So, if I were to say that I don't like to cook, well, let's no, let's we've already used may. Let's use let's let's use something else. Uh, we're going to talk. I'm going to use a ustedes no les gusta cocinar. A ustedes, you all, everyone watching me at home, a ustedes no les gusta cocinar. I'm saying that you guys don't enjoy cooking. I could put that into a, I could put that into a question um, if I wanted to and say, a ustedes les gusta cocinar, but I'm trying to say that you don't enjoy doing it, so I gotta have my negative right there in front of my IOP. So gustar, pretty easy. It's really easy once you know that you have a formula for it. You've got your IOP first, you've got your form of the verb gusta, and then you have the verb, the activity that you like to do. And that's the way it's always going to be. Um, you, the first thing you have to know is who it is that you're talking about enjoying this activity, and then you have to choose the right uh, IOP to fit in the sentence. All right? Email me, call me, visit the virtual office for questions. We can go over this again in the virtual office. Just let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. 